definitely the darkest material we've ever come up with. There's a lot of pain on this EP, but I, I like to think that there's some hope on this EP too. In the old years, we were kind of like, you know, the freshman band, you know, we were we were kind of just like the young cakes playing songs. Back in the day, things were just so good. The shows were so fun. I was like, well, shoot, how can we top that? It just felt like are we trying to find happiness in the same place we lost it? Is this worth it? But Steve and I, we wanted to try again. He kept hitting me up saying, yo, I've got these songs, I've got these songs. And uh, eventually, you know, I came over, we, uh, we went through all the songs and I was blown away. We've got incredible talent between my brother Joe and Drew, who's a fantastic drummer. Kafaro brings a lot to the table. And I think Chris, as a head man and not worrying about playing guitar, has really come into his own. This EP is personal not just because of the uh, content, but really because we recorded it ourselves. The drums were recorded in a house. Um, we recorded the guitars and vocals and other stuff in Joe's room and in his kitchen. And we did the best we could. Joe mixed it and uh, we're very happy with how it came out. It was a very personal experience. and very rewarding just for the fact that we did it and we like it and hopefully others will like it too. This EP was originally supposed to be just me and Steve, um, a small acoustic EP, but we ended up bringing in the whole band on it. At the end of the day, we are just so thankful to our friends and our fans, the people who buy our records, the people who listen to our music online, um, the people who are checking up on us, the people coming to our shows, singing the songs with us. We're here now, and I couldn't be happier.